Hey guys, it's Anya, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how I get in the bath. It is a really long process, um, but if you like the video, thumbs it up, subscribe, and turn the notifications on so you actually know when I post a new video. Um, I do look a mess in this video, I've got no makeup, and my hair is about the bath hair, but anyway, um, hope you enjoy the video, and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hey guys, it's Anya. Um, so I'm in the back right now. I've got this t-shirt on, obviously. Um, and this is the first time that I've actually been upstairs um, to have a bath. So I'm living in my boyfriend's mum's house and they've got a full stairs and I've managed to get up the stairs with a bit of help from um, my boyfriend Jack. So I went upstairs without my wheelchair at all, so I was able to get upstairs um, without my wheelchair. I was going to transfer into my wheelchair but my boyfriend actually bought um, a little kind of sofa stool thing and we were able to um, get me on there so I was able to get on there. I then sit on the edge of the back and I then shuffle, put my hands like a bit further behind me and, um, and I, I'm able to just slowly lower myself in. I put my legs outwards so I don't get all squished up and I'm able to get in the bath. So this is actually my first time in a bath for a long, long time. I don't, um, when we do, when my partner and I get our own house and hopefully we'll have a lovely bath that is very easy for me to get into. Obviously you get a grant um, when you're disabled through the council in the UK to get like a 10,000 um, pound disabled bathroom. I don't think that includes a bath, but <clears throat> I'm certainly gonna try and get one because not only is it great just for your, it's great for neuropathic pain, and it's also great for um, just stretching out a bit really. It's like really good for, to be able to stretch out, to be able to feel water. Like, it's really weird because my legs right now, they don't really feel hot or anything. So you have to be careful with the temperature of the bath um, that it doesn't get too hot. And especially be careful when you put your, feet and legs near the tap because obviously there's hot water there and I can't I can't actually feel when it's really like burning hot. So at the moment my legs actually feel really relaxed and it helps with my neuropathic pain. I'm able to stretch out and it overall it's just a really good thing to do. this way. Probably twist.
so that was definitely an experience. Um, I'm probably not going to do it again because of the sheer amount of effort that actually takes to um, to actually get upstairs into the bath, get out of the bath, go downstairs. It's a bit too much for me probably. Um, but but the good thing is it, it did relax me so much my body, kind of the pain that you get just from being paraplegic. So the um, so the neuropathic pain which I've already mentioned and also the hip and back pain that I get a lot and as well because um, paraplegics and quadriplegics are pushing a lot all day you get a lot of shoulder pain as well and a lot of just arm fatigue and stuff like that so bathing is really good the only thing is just how hard it is getting in the bath and stuff and um, hopefully as I said when I get my own place with my boyfriend we'll get a lovely bath that's really easy to get into I know um, I did quite a lot of work on it actually with um, the occupation therapist in my spinal there's my dog going crazy um, and yeah the things that I would recommend though is just taking your time have a lot of practice practice your transfers practice um, building up your arm muscle because it is quite hard getting into the bath I'm sure there's different like adaptive baths that have been created but no doubt they're probably thousands of pounds <laughs> but yeah let me know if you know of any tips that you could give me my hair's a mess because this is bath hair I always find that you don't really get you just get messy hair rather than in the shower and I can brush it and stuff um but but yeah it's um it's definitely relaxed me being quite stressed out at work um just dealing with being paraplegic and all the things that go wrong one thing that was quite funny is a few days ago I actually came to work it's freezing by the way in England um, not as freezing as like America, but it is it's cold for me. I hate the cold and it's cold enough and uh, I actually went to work with one boot So I have one long boot up to here and a long sock And so I literally went out the house with one boot on I had a long grey sock on because I can't feel the cold and it was freezing and icy and snowing because I can't feel the cold, I didn't realise. For some reason, I didn't look at my feet. I didn't look at my feet when I was transferring or anything. Sounds a bit weird. I don't really know how it happened. And, um, yeah, I, I realised as I um, parked up and was about to get out of the car that, um, that I'd only got one shoe. And so I kind of went into reception because we've got this signing in thing and it tells you if you're late, basically, so it really keeps track of it. So I always try and get there exactly on eight. Um, definitely always before 8.40 and it was like 8.39 and I realised I had no shoe but I was like right get out of the car quick and then um, brushed into work and um, I went to reception um, signed in and then said oh I'm just gonna go um, get my boot because I've only got one shoe so I went to go um, so then I didn't really tell them that I only had one luckily I had a pair of gym trainers in the passenger seat um, footwell because I thought I might go gym after work so luckily I had shoes but it was extremely cold that day and I have to do playground duty and taxi duty so I'm out quite outside quite a lot um, um so yeah wearing trainers weren't the best because I always always wear long socks and boots um, another funny story of going to work was I um yeah I was I was rushing a bit and I didn't put my wheelchair my wheelchair side plates on and I I went to work and my um, the cushion of my wheelchair was really far to the right and it was going t -t -t -t, it makes like a, a farting noise and um, I kind of managed to roll in and then I transferred onto one of the um, one of the like sofa chairs in reception and funnily enough like head of all the, the schools was there and um, I got onto the sofa chair I adjusted my cushion and then I tried to get up. I tried to do like the leg over transfer. I tried to do just a lift and shift transfer and I couldn't do it. Um, and so one of the teachers came in and said, oh, do you need any help? And she was great and came to do it. And then the head of like all the school, the head of all the schools um, actually came and he's just like a, a regular bloke and it's a bit embarrassing. I have to ask for help, but he came and um, I, they had to hold the armchair because the armchair was rocking and I was able to do like a leg over transfer where I lift my leg, I lift my leg onto the wheelchair and kind of straddle in, instead and that was a way that actually worked. Um, but yeah, very embarrassing. So yeah, I've got lots of funny stories about work really which I may do another video on. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on and also um, tell me if you ever try getting into the bath because it is really hard work. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!